Wagner with Stamping Creations with Marilyn. I have another Christmas card to share with you today, and it's in my favorite color, blue, as you can see. Quite uh, not fancy fancy, but, but nice enough to, uh, I'm very proud of sending it out. I've also stamped the envelope. I have stamped a greeting inside, which I'm trying to do more and more of. Uh, my customers really seem to like that. And because I have a few left to finish up here after class, I have made my ribbons ready to go. I just want to share with you what I did for the ends of the ribbon. When I start with them, I cut my lengths and then I do like to just lay them together and trim both of them off. Once that's done, <clears throat> I found this one and yes, it does look like the Ribbon of Courage ribbon, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that for, for a Christmas card. So I take the, I'm trying to get this so you can see, take the glue dot off of the roll with the scissors so I can place it, use them like a pair of tweezers, try not to stick my finger to it, and <clears throat> place it where I want it, and then just crisscross, keep the ribbons ends the same, and there I have my my other one ready. I have stamped, turn it right side up, my greeting, cut it out with the stitched framelits. You can see the stitching going around it. Cut a scalloped circle to go behind it just to give it that little bit of the Knight of Navy. <clears throat> and then that will be attached with a glue dot again and another way to pick up your glue dots is just to hit you stick your ribbon or your cardstock right on the the roll and it will pick up with it so that attaches there then to put it on the card I will be using dimensionals sometimes I try to catch just a little bit of the the ribbon there to hold it so <clears throat> so that's ready for my card now and here is my card my card base which I will stamp the inside greeting <clears throat> which is this one and make sure I get it right side up did it say again I find with these clear stamps, I still don't put the the label on the, <clears throat> the back of them because they stick better to the blocks if I don't. Sending good tidings of comfort and joy. That, as well as the front greeting, came from this, time, this stamp set, Timeless Tidings, which has some great greetings for Christmas. I really like the script writing for the Merry Christmas and the tree that I used on the envelope, a poinsettia, and it looks like a, a holly with berries on that one. So lots of great stamps there for you to use. <clears throat> so once I stamp, then I will complete putting my card together. I don't like doing it prior to because if I make a mess with stamping, I can turn the card over. The, um, I put the designer paper. This is designer paper, which does have a different pattern on the back. If you like that, you could have used that. The <clears throat> other strip I have done with the tin tile embossing folder. You can see what it looks like for on Night of Navy tin tile dynamic. In the catalog it really doesn't do it justice for how beautiful it makes your your card pieces. It has a line here to line up so you can get it straight which is quite important when you have something <clears throat> like that with that with the up and down lines and crisscross but just wanted to share with you some of the metallic images done with that same folder in some of our metallic paper and again with the Knight of Navy. 
works well on everything. So I have put adhesive on those. I'm just going to attach them. A little bit of an overlap with the Knight of Navy going over the designer paper, if need be. Once I'm putting cards together and have the adhesive on, I like to burnish the back of it just to hold it down. Then I would get my dimensionals ready. Sometimes that's difficult to do, so if you, <clears throat> to get the papers off, if you run your thumb just across the center like that, they will pop up a little bit easier. <clears throat> I did mount mine, most of them, kind of off to the center. You can certainly center them if you like. And there is our completed card. Be sure and uh, initial them on the back or stamp on the back if you, um, if you have a stamp with your name, just so that your <clears throat> whoever receives your card knows that it did come from you. And just to share one other card, a friend of mine had made and swapped with me, done in the traditional greens and reds. Another, like I say, the, the script writing there is just gorgeous and a great set to have in your arsenal for Christmas this year. Thanks for, for watching and hopefully you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel and look for many more up-and-coming Christmas card samples. Take care. Thank you.